What's up YouTube? Nick here with yet another controversial health video. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the potential dangers and reasons you might not want to be consuming fermented foods. So these are the very popular probiotic rich foods that we're all hearing about today. We are in a probiotic craze, but the question is, are these fermented foods the best thing to be consuming. So if you wanna know why I think fermented foods, although I was somebody who once consumed a ridiculous amount of them, are actually something that we should probably greatly limit our intake of, then stay tuned, I got some really good information coming your way. So there's a lot that I could say about fermented foods. I could get into different strains of bacteria. I could talk about the entire functioning of the metabolism, but I'm gonna keep it super simple for you and I'm gonna actually sum it up in a couple of sentences. The real problem with fermented foods has everything to do with the production of something called lactic acid. Now, depending on where you go online, you're probably gonna hear controversial subject matter around lactic acid production. Some people might even say that it's good for you, that it's the reason that probiotic foods are so amazing for you and so good for your gut. Now, something that probiotic foods tend to do is increase the rate of something called peristalsis, which is basically the contraction of your colon or intestines that helps you eliminate or poop. But here's what they didn't tell you. The constipation relieving effect, I'll say, of lactic acid from fermented foods is a stressful one. In fact, that's the whole problem, again, with fermented foods and their lactic acid production. You see, lactic acid is produced by the cells or metabolism under stress. There's two basic sides or ways in which the metabolism can work or function. Under normal energy metabolism called oxidative phosphorylation, we produce no lactic acid or lactate in abundance of ATP and carbon dioxide. Now normally, when your metabolism is working efficiently, the carbon dioxide production helps to relax the smooth muscle in the intestines and in the whole body, promoting things like good circulation and of course, healthy elimination. Now, lactic acid can have a stimulatory effect again on peristalsis, but again, it is a stressful one. And something else about lactic acid and one of the major reasons I advise against fermented foods is because that lactic acid puts a stress on your liver. Whether you're producing lactic acid in your own body, so your cells are producing it under stress, or you're consuming it from fermented foods and beverages, so things like kimchi, sauerkraut, kombucha, and all sorts of alcohol, your liver has to convert that lactic acid back into glucose to be used for cellular functions. And it takes the stored glucose, also known as glycogen, to perform this function. So it's an energy burden, if you will, to convert the lactic acid into glucose. Your cells are not gonna use lactic acid for physiological functions, they're going to convert it into glucose. And stressing the liver in this way can create many different issues. As an example, the blood glucose or the glucose or sugar in the body has a major job of regulating stress hormones. So when the liver glycogen is becoming depleted from any sort of stress, lactic acid from fermented foods being one example of that, then you're gonna have difficulty with blood sugar handling or blood sugar issues. Not to mention that lactic acid is produced, again, under stress metabolism. It's highly present in people with diabetes and even cancer, which probably explains why, despite popular opinion, the people that are known to consume the greatest amount of fermented foods have the highest risk and in incidences of stomach cancers. So to summarize, fermented foods are going to be producing lactic acid. That's what happens when you ferment glucose. It becomes lactic acid, which is the same process that your body goes through when it's under stress, whether that's short-term acute stress, like intense working out, or whether you have diabetes or cancer. And this lactic acid puts a specific stress on your liver, depleting liver glycogen, and ultimately causing an energy burden to your body. So for anybody who has been consuming copious amounts of fermented foods like I used to, I would highly advise coming off of those fermented foods, at least weaning yourself off, and ultimately, maybe just for fun and experimentation, Quit them all together and see if any of your last nagging health symptoms tend to clear up and go away. 
That does bring this video to a close though. That's all I wanted to share with you about fermented foods, lactic acid, and the potential dangers in consuming them. Keep in mind there are more safe, healthier ways to improve the functioning of the digestive system. So if you're curious as to how to do that, I have an entire online course called Perfect Digestion that will teach you healthy, natural, and safe ways to improve digestive function without having to consume potentially dangerous or troublesome fermented foods. So if you're somebody struggling with digestive issues and you've been consuming fermented foods and beverages for this reason, definitely be sure to check that course out. Otherwise, it does bring this video to a close. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, share it with anybody that might find it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new here. Until next time, I'm Nick, peace.